My name is Steve Meekham, long term resident of Wallsburg. Um, my family raised there. I've been there myself 40 years now. Love it. And there's a, um, the, the reason I'm here is there's enough, enough concern that I'm seeing and difference between what's being proposed and what's in the general plan. And what I've done is I've just gone through, I'm not sure what's up here. Um, and I've, I've found some concerns with the resources that we've got and that are that are in the proposal, <coughs> and compare that to what um, what we're seeing in the general plan. One of my biggest concerns. And I won't waste your time going through every single one of these. But my point is, is that there are enough concerns that there should be flags that are raised. One of those things is I think it's really important for citizens of Wasatch County, the entire county, to realize the, the resource that would be pulled for just one little, one little bit of development. We talked a little bit about the, the, the second access in the Wallsburg. Is that going to be a county road or is it a, is it a private road? That makes a big difference on what the proposal is. How many resources go into that? If it's a if it's a private road, just my experience, gates on the on the developments that exist are a, are a hassle for law enforcement emergency <coughs> services to respond to. Just as simple as that. There's there's several other different things that um, that I'd like to point out. Um, uh, on that second that second road access. In the general plan, it is different than what has been proposed, and it goes a different route. Actually, it's, it's further um, north of what is being proposed, which would actually benefit more of our, our county. My big concern, though, is that how many of our majority of our county will actually benefit from that? Very few. Very few of the people in Huber Valley, Midway, Center Creek, Daniels. <coughs> will ever, ever benefit from that, the money that's going into that. Is the intention of the WOZ plan to negate any of these connecting roads? If you go and look at the, the maps that they provided, it even shows more roads that come down, not just, you look really close, again, um, almost blurred, the point that they actually come through some of those wetland areas. Um, I've got some concern that um, the WOZ planners have excluded a concept plan for the western end of the of the um, Wallsburg area. Um, they've taken, um, for just example, uh, Amendment Two in their their proposal, an option for the sewer system. Use in the western portion of the Wallsburg planning area and south of Main Canyon Road conflict with the strong recommendation of the Wasatch County General Plan. We talked about a special service district. In the general plan, it describes it in a totally different location than the west end. It's actually described for the east end of Wallsburg. And it actually gives where it recommends a sewer system to, to be put in. And if you look at those county maps. Um, in the developer's effort to provide compliance with the current county plans, the WZ plan conflicts itself by using excerpts from the Wasatch County General Plan out of context. When you read those and you reflect back to where they're, they're um, quoting those from, many of them are right out of the bottom of it and, and skip the portion of the very beginning that encourages the planning commission and the county be very careful with what, what we cover there. Um, I won't take any more, more time. My point is that this thing really should take more time. There are some red flags, there's some questions, huge questions that I personally have, and the community should also have. There are questions for Steve. Thank you. Who's next? Mark Ashton. Allen. Oh, I'm sorry. Mark. It's been a long day. Mark Allen. I'm sorry, Mark. We're good people. Uh, Mark Allen. I'm We're a, all good. We're all good people. I'm a landowner. Uh, I don't live in the valley. I don't live in the county. I'm in Utah County. 
but I uh, appreciate the chance to come here. As I've, we've had property for about 20 years. This is the first time I have really seen um, the mindset of the locals come together for really thinking big picture. And I'm grateful for Mike and his people that have initiated this. Uh, it's, it's hard to see um, plans uh, at all because we love status quo, but things will never stay status quo, right? Um, lots of pressures. I'm uh, here to talk about um, the wildlife. Is it just a put down? Space bar. Space down? Space bar. Space bar. There we go. So the Walford Valley is very unique. Um, it's a little bowl, and this is not just nice country for wildlife. I'm wearing wildlife hat here. This is crucial uh, habitat. It's crucial habitat for mule deer, for elk, moose, and blue grouse. Um, it's substantial for a lot of other species. I was up there this last week, I got a little video to play here, and within about, I was only in the valley for an hour to create this little video that I'll show you, where I saw 60 deer, Going on a crossroads, it's been a dry year, and they congregate down in the lower fields trying to get something to eat, look for water, and uh, this year it's a little bit more scarce than the normal. There's a little video that will kind of give you an idea of how crucial the stop is for wildlife. Some space for again, we just play the video. I do media for a living, but I don't know how to learn a computer. Sorry. We thought you had a sound system. Good enough. <clears throat> so here's a look at the different overlays. That's black bear habitat. This is moose habitat. This is mule deer habitat. Rocky mountain elk habitat.
So as you, as you, if you think about the importance of habitat for wildlife, and as I, I'm not a local, so I don't know all the politics, but I know I like people on both sides of the equation. I've got respect for people on both sides of the equation. So I thought, what kind of, what kind of win could we create here? And as I've studied all these manuals and so forth, the win that I can think of is a TDR outside of our critical wildlife habitat, maybe even over in Heber Valley. <laughs> Novel idea, right? Uh, but we have all the infrastructure over in Heber Valley to support growth. Uh, we don't have the same kind of water challenges that we have in Wallsburg. But I'm, I'm trying to say, how do we watch out for wildlife? My, my stream gets dewatered, and when my stream gets dewatered, the animals go away. Uh, we have, I have concerns for miles of the road. Every time I drive in, I see an animal that's been hit. So I think that, you know, we're trying to split the baby with an overlay plan uh, because we're not taking a look at the comprehensive plan. There's some really brilliant writing in here. I don't know who's put all this stuff together. There are studies from NRCS. There's, there, we don't have a hydraulic study that talks about the recharge rates of our aquifer. We don't use our water wisely, honestly, in the springtime. We let it all go down to Deer Creek and we say we don't want it. We don't put our water out and it like we used to. We put it in pipes and that doesn't recharge our aquifer. So I'm hoping that from this equation, we can figure out best practices that Mike Stinge brought in for a better proposal. Some of the best practices in here. Let's don't split the baby. Let's create a, if we're going to do any zoning stuff, Let's look at Wallsburg as a unique animal. We're not Daniels, we're not Charles, we're not anymore. It's a unique animal over there. So you know, that's, my, that's my two bits. But I appreciate the chance to have everybody come together. I've not seen the valley come together like this. It's OK to attack plans, but not people. Uh, I want both sides of the equation. It's said in Bennington, neighborhood. So talking as an outsider, I'll take any arrows. But I don't want arrows to be shot at neighbors like that. Comments? Questions? Any questions? Uh, Mark, did you say you lived in the valley over there? I lived in the middle. I'm a landowner. You're a landowner. So if I drive up, I look at the view shed, and it's spectacular. On this video, so you notice... So you're only in Wallsburg County? Not in the county. You're in the county. I'm way out in the end of the... Uh, by where part of the clustering development is proposed. When I drive in, uh, the last time I drove in, I see a, a, a house that's starting to creep up in the P-160 zone. Scares me. If I'm wearing the hat for the wildlife, elk don't like to be around. Um, it's, it's, I don't know if you've been over there, but it's, it's rugged country. It's beautiful country. Uh, and, uh, but I want to figure out a win for the, the people that have private land. I've got land someday. I'm going to build up there. I put a shed up there, and I felt like it was sacrilegious to put a shed up there. Because we've got fox, and we've got uh, bald eagles, and we've got red-tailed hawks, and we've got owls. That, raise up their young all the time on our property. So even though I want to build, I haven't, because I'm not ready, number one, but number two, it's like, this is a special place. So as we go through this process, I hope part of the overriding factor is saying, how do we create a win for everybody? And so I think we need to take consideration. If you haven't read all these documents here, I don't know if you're ready to make any decisions. There's some brilliant thoughts in here, but I've, I've done a lot of homework, and, it takes a while to absorb it all. But it is a unique and beautiful place. We have a question. Come on up. Come on up. My name is Anthony Sos, long time resident and long time um, family in Wallsburg. I'm wondering what these are. Okay. And that's what I want to know. He's okay. referring to those. So this I'd is like the this is are. Wallsburg general plan. Here's the overlay thing. This is the Wallsburg coordinated, coordinated Resource Management Plan. This is a publication. The closest thing that we have to recharge rates was done back in the 60s for Heber Valley simulated models. Um, we don't have one of those specific that's updated. My question, since I've been a property owner, is what's the recharge rates in our valley? We don't know. Our engineers back at the year ago would spend a lot of time on these studies that have merit and value. Because it costs money now, we don't do the studies proactively. They seem to have done it. So we proactively. We're going to talk about water in a minute, Mark. So let's, let's you guys let the, just we have some more time for an answer question. Because I wanted to just, know what he was referring to. The last one's NRCS, oh. Main Creek, in-stream flow report. I took more 